So here we will just discuss some units and uh, convert those units to smaller or bigger units. For example, here we have units for length, for mass, and capacity, or volume. You can also say volume. For length, we have millimeters, centimeters. Here we are discussing, but in other videos, in a few, uh, the coming videos, we will just discuss it very uh, comprehensively. Here we have 100 millimeters is equal to how much? 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeters, and 10 cent 100 centimeters is the R is equal to 1 meter, and 1,000 meters is equal to how much? 1 kilometer. For mass, we have gram and kilogram. Where we have 1,000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram, and 1,000 kilogram is equal to 1 ton. So you have to write ton like this. We have TON, that's for FBS system, but this one is for metric system. Double E, double N and E. We have capacity or volume. For volume, we have 1,000 ml or milliliters are equal to 1 liter. Now we will solve example and compare those numbers. Examples, example and first example, we have write these decimal numbers in order of size. Means which one is the bigger, which is smaller, and then compare them. Here we have 5.682, 5.61, 0.95, 5.75, 5.75. As you know, we first think that we are comparing in, compar in comparison of decimal numbers, we are just looking to the whole parts of the number, the decimal numbers. Here we have, in all these three numbers, the smallest number is zero, because here we have five in whole part, here we have five again in this number, we have zero in here and five in here. So the zero, point zero is the smallest. So you can say 0 0.95 is the smallest number. Here we have 0 0.95 is the smallest. Other three numbers are remaining, these two and this one. So we are writing these numbers, 5.682, 5.61, 5.68. So in this case, we are just looking again to the decimal, uh, to the whole part. Here we have five in whole part. Here we have five as whole number, five as whole number. They are equal to each other. So now we will just jump to the decimal part. The first number in decimal in here is six. Here again we have six, six again. These are also equal. We are going to the next number, eight. Here we have eight, here we have one and eight. So this one is the smaller, this one is the smallest in these three. So we can say 5.61 is smaller than the others. This is smaller than the other two. Two numbers are remaining. This is, we get also get rid of this number, so this one and that one is remaining. We are writing again it here, 5.682 and 5.680. We are just giving zero here just, just to compare these numbers. Zero does not mean anything when it is to the right side of the, or to at the end of a decimal number. So here we have, we are just comparing the last number because all the three numbers are equal, the whole part and two decimal numbers, but the last part has some difference, differences. So two is bigger than zero. So we can say 5.682 is bigger than 5.68. So when we want to write it in a, a sign convention, uh, using sign convention, these numbers, so we can say 0 0.95 is smaller than 5.61, and this is smaller than 5.68, and this is smaller than 5.682. Or, vice versa, we can say 5.682 is bigger than 5.68, this one is bigger than 5.61, and bigger than 0 0.95. Okay, now we are coming to another example, or uh, another problem. So they are telling us, write the correct symbol, means, Correct symbol can be equal sign or unequal sign between the between these measures. Between the measures, okay, it's right. So here we have 7.5 meters. We have a red square in here that we have to write a sign after we completed the whole operation. And this to this side we have 75 centimeters. So we can easily now convert this number, 7.5 five meters to, to, uh, to centimeter, meter to centimeters. Because for solving this kind of problems, 
you must under, you must uh, remember that you must convert these numbers or to these units to a, a similar unit. For example, if you can see, you, has, you can see here, this one is in meters and that one is centimeters. So you must have a, a similar unit. The easiest way is to convert the bigger unit to smaller. Means you have to convert meter, which is a bigger unit, to smaller unit, which is centimeter. Here we have one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So 7.5 meter is equal to x. x is unknown, and we, we want to find that x. What we will do, we will, just, we will just do some cross products, and we will get our result. So x is equal to 7.5 meters times 100 centimeters divided by 1 meters. Here we have 7.5 meters times 100 centimeters divided by 1 meter. So meter will cancel with meter. 7.5 times 100 is equal to 750 centimeters. Here we have this one is equal to how much? This one is equal to 750 meters centimeters, sorry. And that one is 75 centimeters. So this one is 10 times more than this one. So we can easily say that these two units are not equal to each other. So you can say an unequal sign or these two numbers are not equal to each other. 7.5 meter is not equal to 75 centimeters. Because, because the question asks us ask from us that we have to uh, locate uh, is equal sign or unequal sign in this red square. So we are just locating an equal sign in this square. Again, we are coming to part C. Write the correct symbol, bigger or smaller, between these measures. So here we have again two measures, which is 4.5 kilograms and four, 450 grams. So we must compare between these two uh, quantities and then we will find which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So again we are coming to our rule these two units are not in similar uh, these two numbers are not in similar units measurements so we must convert one of them to another. Here we have the bigger unit and gram is smaller. We must convert the bigger to smaller it means we have to convert kilogram to grams. So one kilogram is equal to thousand grams. And 4.5 kilogram is equal to unknown. X is unknown. We must find the X. So X is equal to 4.5 times 1,000 divided by 1. 4.5 kilograms times 1,000 grams divided by 1 kilograms. This dot means times. If you just write like this one, it doesn't matter. So dot also means the multiplication in here. If you just do multiplication and division, it, and the, re, it, the result you will get 4,500 grams. Means 4.5 kilograms is equal to 4,500 grams. So you can easily write in here 4,500 what grams. Now, this part we have 450 grams at the um, left side we have 4,500 grams. So which one is bigger? This 4,500 gram, grams are bigger. So we can easily write the sign like this. Means 450 gram is smaller than 4,500 grams or 4,500 gram is bigger than 450 grams. Okay students, so this was our lesson for today. Hope you have learned that. Uh, till next lesson, stay safe and good luck.